Now, it is not obvious that such a number exists. And the first statement and proof of this theorem is by a guy named Ramsey. Now, Ramsey was the brother of the Archbishop of Canterbury. He was a well-known English mathematician a century ago. The result has been rediscovered many, many times, but in the modern literature, you will almost always see this referred to as Ramsey's theorem. All right, we're going to prove that this number exists. So I, on this slide, I've repeated the definition, but we, we want to explain why these numbers exist. So let's start with the first example. Rmn is Rnm. It doesn't matter in which order you put the two parameters. Because if it mattered, you could take a big graph and take its complement. And when you take the complement, cliques are turned into independent sets, and independent sets are turned into cliques. So you've just reversed the role of being a big clique and being a big independent set. So there's obvious symmetry to these numbers. Also, our M1 is 1. Just think about what it's saying. In a large graph, you either want a clique of size M or you want an independent set of size 1. What's an independent set of size 1? A vertex. So you don't need a very big graph to get a vertex. You just need 1. So Rm1 is 1. Also, Rm2 is M. Because think about what you're saying. Either you want a complete graph of size M, or you want an independent set of size 2. If you have a graph which has M vertices, and it's missing any edge, then you have an independent set of size 2. If you have all the edges, you have a clique of size M. So Rm2 is M for all M. The first non-trivial question is whether there is a number R33. R33. Is there some number so that if you have a graph that's that big, it either contains a K3 or an I3? And I'm going to show you that R33 exists and is 6. All right, so first, why is R33 less than or equal to 6? So what am I saying? Every graph which has 6 vertices has either a K3 or an I3. And here's the proof. Take any vertex and look at the neighbors. Look at the other five. There are five other vertices. By pigeonhole, either there are three of them that are adjacent, or there are three of them that are non-adjacent. Let's take the first case. Suppose three of these guys, and it doesn't matter which three, are adjacent to the first vertex I chose. All right, now, look at these three. If there's any edge up there, what do I get? If there's an edge, say here, do you see the K3? The X together with this one together with this one, if that were an edge, would form a K3. So if any pair is an adjacent pair, I get a K3. But what do I get if no pair is adjacent? An I3. This becomes an independent set of size 3. And the argument is completely symmetric. If you have three non-neighbors, so not an edge, not an edge, not an edge, then look at these guys. 
If any pair of them is a non-adjacent pair, for example, like this one and this one, if there's no edge here, this vertex, this vertex, and this vertex form an independent set of size 3. But if all three of these are adjacent pairs, then this becomes a K3. So anytime you have six or more vertices, then you get a K3 or an I3. So this says the Ramsey number exists and is at most six. Now, let's prove that it's bigger than five. Here's my challenge to you. Find a graph on five vertices which has no K3 and no I3. Again, find a graph on five vertices which has no K3 and no I3. It is a graph we have studied many times. Anybody got an answer? What do you say? A star? A star. I think, I think I, you, you meant this kind of star. Actually, I, I could draw that a different way, which is a little bit more obvious about what it is. It's just a C5. Okay, okay. Okay? So it's at least three. So, in the C5, do you have any triangles? No. Do you have any independent sets of size 3? No. So there is a graph on five vertices which has no K3s and no I3s. But once you get to 6, there will always be a K3 or an I3. Those two things together show that the Ramsey number R33 is exactly 6. How would you like to have your lunch today depending on finding the value R44? Suppose I told you, cruel man that I am, you cannot eat lunch unless you can give me a similar explanation for the value R44. We haven't really proven that it exists. Let me say all of you would starve unless you use the internet. It's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. 